everybody it's plum frugal streamer and listen i screwed up okay i put out some bad information some incorrect information concerning the invent that i want to clarify uh so this is kind of a reaction video based on the latest one that i did talking about streamlabs obs version 12 improvements and uh this is specific to the new invent couple comments that suggested that i was wrong so i've done a little bit more research and to come to find out i was sort of so we will talk about that in the what specific to new NVENC uh, people really need to pay attention to in terms of their settings and what it does based on their setup. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is a couple clips of Battlefield 5 Firestorm using my GTX 750 Ti, an older NVIDIA NVENC capable GPU to record these two clips and I'm trying to emulate streaming. So it's at CBR 6,000, but I am using the new NVENC at max quality, high profile using look ahead and cycle visual tuning. Whereas I, on the other clip, I use the old NVENC and use the settings that you would have if you, you know, if you didn't have that at quality and B frames of two and the key frames set it to two as recommended by the streaming support. So anyway, uh, I wanted to go ahead and say that, you know, my video before in Streamlabs OBS version 12 update, I did say that uh, you could not use the new NVENC improvements uh, with older NVIDIA GPUs uh, as the only thing that it affected was the efficiency of the card, not the, not the quality. I was wrong. In fact, um, NVIDIA reached out to me and told me that there is actually some quality improvements that you do get. So let me explain what those were and what they told me. Gerardo Delgado, NVIDIA's product manager for esports and streaming, uh, reached out to me on Twitter and just kind of explained what was going on, you know, and what they changed. And this is what he said, and I'm quoting directly. He said, there are some quality improvements for everyone because we changed a couple of default settings to optimize ones in parentheses, profile high and level auto and expose the new psycho and look ahead features. If you turn those four on, you probably do see improvements on any card. Then I asked him, I said, does max quality versus quality with the old cards have any effect? Some are saying that it doesn't. Again, as quoting uh, Mr. Delgado, he said, max quality is the old high quality plus two pass encoding with a couple minor tweaks. Someone that had the previous encoder correctly configured wouldn't see a noticeable difference. Psycho and look ahead would help them though. So technically there is a quality gain for everyone. Okay, so that is good information to know. So I was incorrect in stating that it did not have a quality improvement for older cards. Then in fact, using uh, Psycho uh, visual tuning and look ahead do have some quality improvement. Where I was correct though, was that you're not going to see the quality improvement that Turing sees. Okay. As they state, and as many have video have proven, is that the new NVENC gives Turing the capability to uh, have quality video using NVENC that is on par with X264 in medium and definitely better than X264 in fast. This includes two major changes to Turing. As Gerardo uh, explains, that Turing's main change from Pascal is that it packs two new features RDO and multi-frame reference. He said that both of these can be summarized as, as ways to make better use of bits when encoding, and that results in less blocking issues and crisper image quality, which is huge for a lot of people because now you have the capability of streaming and gaming off a single PC if you have a GTX 1600 series card or an RTX card. And I would actually say, I would even go further in saying that uh, I, the 1660 Ti and up would be more of that uh, if you're doing 1080p gaming. Uh, I tested the RTX 2060 doing single PC gaming and streaming and it did awesome. So, and I've known many others that say the same thing. So anyway, I do appreciate Mr. Delgado for reaching out uh, and explaining that. Uh, as it does shed some light on what they actually did to the new event compared to the old. And it does uh, help to understand that, you know, this is available for everybody to use, not just RTX and GTX 1600 series card owners. So go out there and try it. I apologize for the incorrect information. I appreciate viewers calling me out on it and um, I'm here to own up on it. And, you know, I want you guys to have the incorrect or have, I'm sorry. I want you guys to have the correct information 
and be able to use it at your disposal. So thank you again for the viewers who called me out, and thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Uh, as these two clips, I'm hoping that, you know, the proof is in the pudding with these two clips as I'm using my GTX 750 to see, you know, that the new NVENC actually does have some improvement over the old NVENC. So that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, uh, at frugal underscore streamer. You can also follow me on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash TFS underscore Punisher. And I have started streaming more on the YouTube channel here. So if you're interested in supporting me with that, hey, become a super member, right? And uh, I would love to see you come back, hang out on the stream. We can talk and you can ask questions. Hey, well, we can sit there and game if you want to squad up. So anyway, guys, thank you for that. I appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your week. Be safe out there. We'll see you later.